This is Twit. Hey, we should talk Linux. It's the operating system that runs the internet, a bunch of game consoles, cell phones, and maybe even the machine on your desk. But you already knew all that. What you may not know is that Twit now has a show dedicated to it, the Untitled Linux Show. Whether you're a Linux pro, a burgeoning sysadmin, or just curious what the big deal is, you should join us on the Club Twit Discord every Saturday afternoon for news, analysis, and tips to sharpen your Linux skills. And then make sure you subscribe to the Club Twit exclusive Untitled Linux Show. Wait, you're not a Club Twit member yet? Well, go to twit.tv slash club twit and sign up. Hope to see you there. Um, Microsoft is bringing um, what they call certificate-based authentication for Azure Active Directory to mobile devices, meaning uh, iPhones and Android phones. And if that sounds like a mouthful, it is. But what it basically is, is the ability to use a YubiKey today and eventually other types of, of smart card type devices where people have their own phones, but they need to authenticate against their work you know, website or apps or whatever it might be. And they don't want work, you know, putting management stuff on their phone. But this, what this is, is a way to plug in, type in a pin, gain access to the stuff. If you yank the card out, the, the key out, that stuff goes away. It's, it's basically a way to enforce multi-factor authentication on mobile without having to heavily manage a phone on, the, on behalf of users. So kind of an interesting approach to passwordless or a new approach to passwordless. I, I use uh, what well, they call it 2FA, but with my Microsoft account and also with my Gmail or Workspace account, whatever, you're basically using 2FA where it's, um, I don't actually type in passwords for the most part. Actually, with my Microsoft account, I don't ever type in my password. So the first time I sign into a computer, it sends a prompt to my phone. I OK it in Microsoft Authenticator. If I am using Google, actually, I do have to type in the password that one time, but then after that, it's kind of automatically signs me in. This is kind of another way to do that, and it's specifically designed for businesses that it would, you know, in other words, look, you can use your own phone, but we're going to send you this thing in the mail. you got to go through the enrollment process, set up your certificate. It's now going to be tied to this little key, which in tandem with your phone will allow you to type in a pen, and then you're in. Kind of an interesting way to do uh, MFA for businesses, so... I don't think that will ever be a like consumer solution. But then again, you know, individuals use Yubi keys, so they're it's supporting uh, pass keys too, along with Google and Apple, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah, yeah, yep, they are. And actually, the other thing is, so I didn't know this, but apparently, Android doesn't have native support for smart cards. So when you use Yubi key with an Android device, like Yubi key actually has to provide software to make that work on Android. And it's possible in the future this will be. Uh, even more seamless. So for example, like a better approach, I think for an individual would be, you have the YubiKey on your keychain or something in your pocket, and it uses NFC to make that connection, right? But today you actually have to plug it into the port, which is kind of goofy uh, on a phone, but uh, that's the approach. That I mean, it works. Because yeah. that's because the yeah. original YubiKeys <clears throat> were keyboards. So the phone right. just sees it that's as right. a keyboard and it takes the text that yep. the YubiKey's spitting out, which was a clever a little hack. Yeah, and I guess that works on phones just like it works on uh, PCs. I think what's changed since the early days is that mobile platforms, in particular iOS, I don't think Android is as far along with this, but they've they accept this as a form of authentication. Like this is a native capability now, like a smart card. Is they think of it as a smart card, but um, it be, yeah, before they had to kind of work around the limitations on mobile, but that's getting a little more sophisticated. So I'm kind of hoping, I'm expecting, I guess even. Eventually, we'll probably see NFC uh, versions of this kind of thing. Because there are, I think there are. YubiKey has right? NFC, NFC. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> they have little versions that have like thumb print things and stuff. You know, it's a pretty cool. They're smart. They've things. really made it yeah. work as many places as possible. I yeah, use a really YubiKey to log into everything. And it's just a type C key. And yeah. I, I plug Plus, it whatever in. you could get. Yeah, there's a lightning version, obviously, for iPhone. Um, they have different versions. Yeah, for, I mean, you could use it as a Windows Hello fingerprint reader if you had the right one, you know, with the USB port. I mean, there's all kinds of different ways to do it. It's 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 kind of a cool thing. I mean, obviously, you want to see that just built into the device um, if you can. But, yeah, I have one uh, key that has Type C on one end and Lightning on the other. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I and I think that, that will I yeah, pray yeah. no longer be necessary yep. down the road. And we all do. I have some theories about that, but yes, we all do. 
Apple's a bitter company, by the way. It's bitter. Like you could They're imagine. They could, you you could imagine them like, yeah, no, no, we're gonna we'll do USB C in Europe. <laughs> you know, like you could totally picture. Like you know, they're gonna do something like that. We'll see.